name is Logan Haggard. I'll be your liturgist this morning. If you would please stand and join me in the opening prayer. When you look in the mirror, who do you see? Do you see Jesus reflecting back? Paul reminds the church in 1 Corinthians 13.8 that the past we could only see through revealed concept but through the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The veil was torn to the temple of our eyes, and so we can rejoice in seeing clearly. Therefore, he writes in 2 Corinthians 3.18, we can see the glory of God as though reflected in a mirror. As we begin worship, we praise you, God, for allowing us to choose to be transformed into the same image as Christ from one degree of glory to another. May we also not only see Christ in our mirrors, but may others see Christ reflected in us. We pray this through the Son who reflects the Father. Amen. Please continue standing and join me in singing number 2086 in your Faith We Sing book, Open Our Eyes. Invite the Holy Spirit into this space, into our lives, to help us with our baptismal promises to resist all evil and wickedness and put our whole trust in your grace, acknowledging our shortcomings and doing both. May the Holy Spirit fill us, move us, shake us, inspire us, and transform us to better reflect Christ in our lives relationships and practices through this experience of worship come holy spirit come amen uh, now we will sing hymn number 384 love divine all loves excelling
would invite you to be seated. We uh, prepare for a time of, of prayer, uh, both personal and, and communal. Uh, let us take a moment to, to pause and to breathe and to let out all, all that's going on out there in your own life and in our collective lives, uh, to just be there. It'll be there when we're done. You can pick it back up if you choose or not. Uh, but for now, let us just take a moment and pause and, uh, and, and separate what's going on. And uh, Logan and I will come through and collect our, the joys and concerns uh, that you've written down. And uh, as we do so, let's prepare our hearts and minds for a time of prayer by singing through the, the, cor the Cares Chorus twice. Appreciation Sunday. Not that Amy didn't do a great job, but uh, whenever you're gone, it's always one of those. Wow, well, we sure do appreciate what Pat does, and uh, and so Pat, uh, we're glad to have you back. It speaks wonderfully to the church that someone can just fill in on a moment's notice, and uh, uh, and and we're also uh, praying for Carl. Um, Carl's home and recovering at home and we'll be uh, doing some physical therapy here and and so just uh, do what you need to do for for your family so first and foremost so but it's great to have her back uh, but continue prayers for 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 Carl as he recovers um, so also uh, uh, I received a text this morning uh, from Cindy Sothman and uh, Vaughn her husband's brother Val uh, died on Friday and uh, was not found until yesterday so I'd been deceased for over 24 hours in his home or give or take an hour um, and so they're traveling to Iowa uh, to help uh, with the family and uh, he leaves behind a 20 year old daughter and so Cindy asked for prayers uh, for his family and then specifically for his daughter and uh, and then for traveling mercies for them as well and so um, and then um, Fred Schumann is dealing with uh, Fred is is uh, Phil's brother and uh, he's dealing with a chronic medical situation that may not have a happy ending is that fair enough to say Phil okay and so uh, Phil's asking for for prayers uh, for his brother and, and, and family as well. And uh, Sharon, you're, you're the rep. So, crew and, and Carson, any closer to being home? Tomorrow. Yay. We should have had that as our joy first off, right? So, well, wonderful. So, we'll just continue to pray that uh, that happens. And so, um, that's a, what a blessing that is. So, um, all right, shall we go to God? gracious and, and holy God we come to you on this day in which we are reminded that in Genesis when God created he blew the wind across the land 
in so many that the spirit of God uh, that is being felt outside also be felt on our insides as well on this day. In those times when, uh, when life seems hard and difficult, such as times of death and times of, of diagnoses uh, for uh, chronic medical conditions, um, we need to feel that presence of God journeying with us. And, and we know it's there. It's always there. But, and yet sometimes it, we don't feel it. And so, God, I just call upon you to... Uh, to be with uh, the Sothman family, uh, particularly Val's 20-year-old daughter, as she grieves the loss of her father, and for and for Fred Schumann, uh, they represent all who who are, are dealing with similar situations, and and for you to feel their presence. We also give you thanks for all of the wisdom and the knowledge uh, and the guidance that you uh, provide in this day for uh, all of our, our, those who are in our healthcare industry, for all the research that goes on to enable life and quality of life and the extension of a quali quality life. And so we're reminded of that this morning in our prayers that we are lifting up for, for Carl and for Crew and for Carson. Also, God, I, I know that there are others that we just hold dear to each and to every one of us. And so we lift those up to you as well. All prayer does not have to be uh, verbalized, but it just has to emanate from the heart. We also give thanks for our, our college in the 55 years of serving this community uh, that they're celebrating this month for uh, for those uh, that have contributed to the work uh, that this church is a part of in Honduras uh, to build a school in, in the rural areas, in the mountainous areas, so that those children might be able to read and to write and to be able to know your word in, through their own eyes. We lift up those that are on our own personal prayer list, and for those circumstances of life and situations in life that call us to care enough to lift up others uh, to you, God. We pray for the ministry and the direction of our community, of our church, of our state, and of our nation. And may, may you respond with your Holy Spirit to guide, to provide the wisdom and the, and the courage to reflect you in all of life's decisions. And so as we reflect that image of you, of grace and of mercy, and in today's trait of love, may we who follow you, follow your lead in praying. And so as you pray, so we join together in our prayer by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation to deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <coughs>
morning comes from John chapter 13, verses 34 through 35. I give you a new commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Thank you, Logan. Any kids in the house this morning? Come on down. This one. So, uh, what's up with these? These hearts. They're Valentine's. Did every class make these in Sunday school today? No. In Sunday school, we, we did Valentine's for the people. Okay. Third and fourth grade had some hard work to do rather than this, huh? You just watch TV, okay? Yeah. This is five days so, with Bowler Movie. Five, five, five Sundays without a movie. Yes, but who's yes, who's yes, counting? <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, wow! How hard is that? So 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 why 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 Valentine's? Valentine's Day is on Friday. You are right. Yeah. So, so why, why a heart for Valentine's? Um, because, because that's what Valentine's is all about. Okay. Yeah. Are, are, there, are there only two kids up here? It's about how to Valentine. Yeah. St. Valentine. St. Okay. Valentine. Okay. So what do you know about St. Valentine then? Yeah. He created it? Yeah, kind of. He probably worked for Hallmark and... No, he didn't. No? Valentine's Day. How about Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. Day. Okay, so, uh, so this is a sign of love, right? Yeah. Yeah? How, I don't know where they came up with the heart thing, though. Okay. How did he love and how did they come up with the heart shape, well, shape like this, too? Well, how hearts did they... Hearts are definitely not shaped like that. Hearts aren't shaped like this? Okay. Yeah, real hard. Yeah, I know, but you know, it's kind of a universal thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so down there, over there on the other end, here, I'm going to go like this so that you guys can see me too. <laughs> okay, so this is one way to show love to someone, right? Yeah. So what's another way that we show love to another Okay, spending time, being kind, okay. giving them cards, helping. Did they? Did she, did, she, did Piper take yours? Or, or are you are you frustrated with your brother or your sister or both? <laughs> okay, one other over here. You help them out. Very good. Very good. Okay. Zoe? Praying for them and hugging them. Oh, yeah. Praying for them and hugging them. And Caleb? Lots of love to your new baby sister. Lots of love to your new baby sister, huh? So, could, uh, did you have one more? Helping your mom out when she's pregnant. Maybe just helping your mom out, period, right? Yeah. So, could could time out be a sign of love? No. <laughs> Definit no, absolutely not, huh? Yeah, absolutely not. No? Absolutely no. Well, Cleaning your room, could that be a sign of love? No. Oh, got a little, got, I, I, I'm persuading 
someone to the dark side, right? No. Yeah, kind of, right? Depends on the circumstances, doesn't it? It is, it is. It is. Right? How about, okay, all right, let, let, let me talk for a second. So sometimes your, your parents or your grandparents or whoever's house you're at, they'll say, go do this, right? Take out the trash. Anybody ever hear that one? Or sweep the floor, or right, empty the dishwasher, right? Those things. What if you just did it without being asked? You'll get money? Okay. It's a sign of love, right? If you just do something nice for someone without being asked, that's a sign of love, right? Yes, no. Yes, no. I, 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 I'm not feeling it this morning, huh? Okay, Zoe, what, one last one here. Yeah, those Barbie, sh Barbie shoes can really hurt on, uh, on feet, can't they? Anybody ever have a Barbie shoe? Or, uh -huh? No, you probably don't have those at your house, do you? Yeah, yes, yeah. So, so the whole point really is that there's all different kinds of ways to express love, isn't there? Yeah, mm -hmm. and so uh, this week, as we talk about how do we reflect Christ by sharing love, can you think of one thing that you can do to share a love with someone this week during Valentine's week? Okay, so. By telling your mama you love her. Wonderful. Okay, Zoe.